Hi, I'm Pier Giorgio Pulcisi. I'm an Italian writer. I come from Sardinia, actually, and I'm a crime novelist. I guess storytelling is a huge part of literature, but the aim of literature, I, my opinion, is like to touch emotionally people, to change a little bit the, the art of the people in some way. So, literature deals with emotion, basically. I could speak like for three hours <laughs> and um, because there are so many and it starts maybe with Shakespeare who was a very big influence on me the classic authors like the Greek one the Latin one uh, I study classical literature so Latin literature Greek literature but um, everything changed I suppose when I read uh, Edgar Allan Poe Arthur Conan Doyle, Agatha Christie, then I switched to Stephen King and maybe Stephen King was the most powerful read I have I have had in my experience as a reader. So maybe the big influence, if I have to choose just one of them, I would say Stephen King. I suppose you learn uh, uh, how to work on stories essentially reading other stories so reading is the fuel to the machine of writing without the reading part you go nowhere um, so I learn a lot by just reading other authors uh, the one I love and reading as well uh, something I don't I didn't like at the moment because sometimes the best teacher are the worst book because you they teach you how, how not to write so essentially it's a very good uh, teaching in a way then at some point I enter in a writing school we could say the the school of my master uh, Massimo Carlotto is a noir uh, uh, writer an Italian noir writer uh, very famous in Italy and he actually um, teach me how to switch from an amatorial uh, side of writing to a professional uh, side of our writing. So it shows me actually how to work, how to create uh, a character, how to build up tension in a, in a story, how to develop a plot. And, um, and it was very helpful. Uh, it was very, very helpful. Um, up to a point, I, you can actually uh, write in, essentially it's about technique, I mean story, essentially and storytelling it's about technique, so you have to know the rules, you have, you have to know how to you know, build the plot, the structure of the plot, how to create the tension, uh, you have to know what is a climax, uh, you have to know what is a turning point, um, a switch in the story and all stuff. But essentially you can't uh, uh, teach talent. You can domesticate talent, but you can teach it, teach it. But again, the reading part is very important because uh, you can teach, uh, for example, um, how to read. You can develop, develop a taste uh, in a person, so the literary taste, the style, so all of those stuff you can absolutely teach it. I teach actually a uh, technique of narration, techniques narratives. Uh, so I start from a, a psychological uh, view of literature. Uh, I use a uh, young, young, a lot in my in my in my courses. Uh, so I teach a lot of about uh, Jungian shadows, um, and uh, then I switch to uh, Aristotle with a division in three acts of the story, or five acts sometimes, and then I essentially I I teach how to start, how to develop a personal method in every 
writer because every writer actually is different every mind is different so you have to understand uh, uh, the way people think the way people create and try to find a solution to help them essentially I write noir thriller and polar and they share um, those genres share the same uh, attitude um, versus reality I mean toward the reality um, I try to uh, use noir polar and thriller to depict my the Italian society uh, the fracture in Italian society as well some moral issues I speak a lot about law and justice I speak a lot about good and evil and even the way evil try to transform people especially policemen so the way evil try to enter into the soul of a policeman those themes are very fascinating for me so I try to every time to dip a little bit uh, I go every in every novel I try to go deeper in this you know elaboration of a good and evil stuff the only way to to let uh, literature survive because I find it that uh, we are living in a very complex times maybe just polar or just thriller or just noir are not able anymore to depict this society so complex so you have to combine uh, all the genres in a just one big genre, let's say crime novel, um, to uh, try to analyze in a deeper way psychology, the psychology of the character and um, complexity of our society. So I'm uh, totally in favor of uh, mixing the genres. I would suggest them to read uh, as much as possible, whatever they like, whatever they want. Um, and I also suggest not to give up because it's uh, uh, writing, uh, it's about patience, it's about uh, um, be steady with your work, it's about developing a work ethic, it's a job, like every other job. So you have to do it like in a professional way, try to study, and you never learn you never go to perfection with writing yes. so it's a long journey so don't uh, get discouraged just keep going keep reading keep writing keep loving stories could be could be i mean it's a very i i, I actually don't know what's gonna happen but i felt the threat because in italy for example some of the novels you you find in the bestseller list uh, usually they have uh, they use nom de plume and they are written by uh, artificial intelligence edited by the editors but uh, when you read it you you feel the coldness of the machine so i hope that uh, people still uh, will will in, in, I mean, in 10 years from now, 20 years from now, people would keep uh, getting in touch with emotion because emotion is the only way, the only thing that uh, separates us from machines. So that's the key, that's the solution. Invest in emotion in our books.